Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the 11 is Louder double IPA by Mustang Sally. So this beer has a bunch of volume knobs on it, which is always a good thing in my opinion. It's a double IPA featuring Vic's Secret and Citra. So we know we're gonna get that big kick of citrus punch power. And then we'll get a kick of some tropical fruit. Hopefully. And some, some earthiness from the herbs and pine notes. Scan says government warnings. It says brewed and canned by Mustang Sally up in Chantilly right next door to us. Thank you guys for uh, giving us this can. We do appreciate it. Um, yeah, but other than that, 11 is louder. Dippo with C Citra and Vic Secret, 8.3%. Uh, and that's it, rather green can. I don't know why they went with the green, but I guess all the hops, maybe. Well, let's take a nose on this one right off the bat and see uh, what we smell. Getting a lot of Citra. Yeah. Lots of uh, fruitiness. Mm -hmm. I really like this color. It's a very, yeah. very pleasing color. Kind of this golden, opaque, uh, dense looking beer. Mm. It looks thick. It smells like it's gonna drink really smooth. It doesn't smell like sharply piney. It smells like it's it's like a hazy boy for sure. Yeah, and it has Vic Secret, which I, I mean, I can- I love that hop. Huh? Yeah, they use I it really in a like lot it. of double IPAs and IPAs in general. It was um, actually manufactured, it wasn't manufactured, but it was, it comes from Australia and it was harvested in Australia. It's a good hop to use. Hmm. All right, well, let's drink and, and find out. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, so that is like more hazy than I thought it was gonna be. I like that pine note that comes at the very end. Yeah. And it just kicks you a little bit in the back of the throat. Just a little bit. That's just really enough to give it that balance between the fruit. Yeah, overall, like initially, it's really sweet up front. It's really sweet and it has a lot of that fruit characteristics that you come to expect with like a hazy boy beer. But it also has that sort of West Coast kick right at the end. You're right. Mm -hmm. That's nice. This is really good. Yeah, I didn't know what to expect really coming into this one. Um, I thought it was going to be more of a kind of a West Coast type of thing, um, but. Yeah, this proves to be kind of a blend between the two, almost. This this doesn't drink like an 8% beer at all. This is really crushable and really smooth. That's how I like my dippas. They should be like that. They so, should be so that easy you can to crush drink. more of it. Well, but yeah, they should be easy to drink. You shouldn't, you shouldn't feel like you're drinking this super heavy beer. No. At least that's my preference. Apparently, uh, from what they were telling me when they gave this to me for the channel, uh, this is, so they have a new brewer and they're going forward, this is kind of the style that they're targeting right oh, here. Oh, awesome. So yeah. we can expect many more beers like this one. I don't know if this is gonna be a core lineup beer or you know something you can get all the time, but it's, it's definitely gonna be similar beers to this coming out in the future. So awesome. well, I, think that's, I think that's great. Like this yeah. is what I wanna drink. Yeah, definitely. Historically, they haven't been as good as this. Yeah, no. Like I mean, years ago, I'm talking like like early in set. Well, like when we went there first, like uh, when was that? How many years ago was that? A long time ago. Mm -hmm. But either way, like back then, the beers that they were making weren't like this. Like something changed along the lines, and now these beers are rivaling some of the stuff that we just order in. Like this one does anyway. Yeah, for sure. This is definitely comparable to some of the Drucker double IPAs I've been drinking and an Aslan double, a, double IPA I have in the fridge. Yeah. But with that just little bit of extra character to it that makes it their own. I like this, I like this a lot. So yeah, good job guys, keep doing this thing. Um, yeah, if you're interested in Mustang Sally, go check them out. They're right up in Chantilly, right off the, right off 50, I think it is. Yeah. Like near the uh, Dulles airport, uh, so right there. Super convenient, super good guys, um, super good beer. I would like to see 
some lower ABV offerings in the same vein, mm -hmm. like some session IPAs come out, super hazy, so just this thing, but like 6%. I know you guys can do it. I know people can do it. It can be done because we've had, we have one coming up right next. So like they're, they're everywhere. We've had them all the time. Sloop does them, freaking Vale does them. Yeah. Uh, like, you know, they, they can't be that difficult to produce. And I get, um, I get the, you know, the business aspect of it, like if you're gonna make a beer, might as well make it like a bigger alcohol percentage, bigger yield, I guess. You know, bigger bigger bang for your buck for the consumer, right? When you walk into a bar or uh, like a brewery, do you, are you sitting there looking at the 6% beers or are you looking at the 8% beers for your $8 a, a pint, you know? I mean, I think it depends like, on like what your ultimate goal is. Like my goal is to enjoy my beer and not have just one, but several. Yeah. I can do that with six percent beers, but when every beer is eight percent, you know, it's it, you know, it's, it's like one and done kind of a situation, or maybe two and done, but then that's pushing it, and then you don't, you know. Yeah. No, so I, I hear it, you. it's not about like how much alcohol it is per per the cost of the pint. It's more about like, do you want to stay there? Do you want to enjoy your time? Then get something that, or offer something to yeah. the customer that you know, attracts them and makes them want to spend more and more and more and get more beer because they can, because they can keep drinking. That's true. All right, guys, that does it from us. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you liked what you saw, please hit that subscribe button. And until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers.